hello my bookish friends welcome back to our channel so guys judging by the title i just wanted to share all of the books the physical books that i own or have that are on my bookshelf y'all i do not have a crazy lavish bookshelf that i have stressed to y'all before i do not have one i just have this little shelf that i got off amazon and of course as i acquire more books I will get more shelves one day eventually i may move on and be one of the ikea shelf girls but for now this is what i'm rocking with so um in my apartment my boyfriend and i do have a two bed two and a half bath and this room is kind of like our game room it's where both of our computer desks are we have a tv in here with like a playstation workout equipment and then i'm um, Putting my books in here so i do have a blank wall right next to this bookshelf where i may put an additional shelf when the time comes but right now this is what i have and then i don't know if you guys can see but the bottom two shelves that are just like this are completely empty because i kicked my man's books off my shelf and i gave him his own little bookshelf in our bedroom because he does not have as many books he doesn't buy as many books and i doubt that he will acquire as many books as i eventually um we'll get another bookshelf in here for his books but yeah for now this is going to be my shelf so i just wanted to kind of run through the books that i have on my shelf and yeah there's no rhyme or reason that much on my shelf um at the top of my shelf i first of all shout out to coffee and goodreads she sent me over this you had me at thrillers um glass and i have iced coffee in it obviously so if y'all want to shop with her click the link below if i have like any type of discount code i will definitely leave it down below at the top of my bookshelf i do keep this mason jar with like i told y'all all of the mini books that i create but yeah so at the top of my bookshelf i do keep this jar it's a mason jar full of all the books i read y'all know i go back and make a mini book of every single book that i read and this is where i store them so i do keep this on my shelf as well so i don't want this video to be too long so let's just jump right into it so on this first shelf right here these are books that i have not read yet um and of course on some of the other shelves there are books that i haven't read but these are just like new books like that i've got within a month and or books that i just haven't read yet so i have no one can know by k alice marshall i have not read this i started reading it and i'm on page 11 like some months ago and yeah i just never went back to it but i do have just a book of the month bookmark in here so yeah i i'm not gonna be saying what each book is about because that would mean the video will be way too long but yeah no one can know by alice by kate alice marshall y'all know that i'm a huge thriller girl so most of the books if not all of the books will be thrillers um i do have a harlan colvin book i will find you and y'all the reason why i have one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus twice is because my home girl she sent this to me um and i was so thankful and i was gonna start reading it and then she sent me the exact same one again because she has part two so she thought she was sending me the second one but i don't know why she had two copies but she ended up sending me one of us is lying again so now i have two copies and she's gonna be sending me the second one um so i'll probably do like a giveaway for this one because there's no need for me to have two so yeah if y'all want this book let me know the next book that is on my shelf is the appeal by janice hallett i have not read this but like i said i want to i did start it i'm on page 23 so one thing about me is and probably a lot of y'all we start books and if we're not feeling it i just put a bookmark in it and i'll come back and this is just a bookmark that says iconic um so yeah i'm on page 23 of the appeal um i'll i'll revisit then on my bookshelf, I have That Night by Sin Blog. And then I also have these two. Um, Y'all know I read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldery. And then I hurried up and got the second part 
um, Book Shots and Bone Dust by Travis Baldery. I just not have not read this yet. I think I told y'all I'll be using this as kind of like a palette cleanser um, in between my thrillers and things like that. So, have not read that one yet. Then the last three books on this shelf are Central Park by Guillaume Musso. And then I have two books, Dead Girls Can't Tell Secrets by Chelsea and Chasso. Sorry if I'm butchering these names, y'all. And then also The Deaths of December by Susie Holiday. So that is all the books on my first shelf. Now my second shelf is near and dear to my heart. My second shelf is always my library bookshelf. All the books that I get from the library and things of that nature, I put here. So on this shelf, as of now, I have The Maid by Nita Pros. Spare Room by Andrea Bartz, which I showed y'all these books before when I got them a couple weeks back. And I'm still reading them. I will be renewing them. Um, the Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. This cover is just fire. I love it so much. Um, All Good People Here. Y'all haven't seen me get this one from the library, but I did go pick up All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. All Good People Here is the um, book club pick for my book, book club, License to Thrill on Fable. So this is our March read. So I went ahead and grabbed it when it was available so I would have it so I don't have to like stress about it or buy it. I can just read it from the library. I showed y'all that I picked up Shiver by Allie Reynolds from the library. I picked up Their Vicious Games from the library. And if y'all don't utilize your library, please do. Please, please, please do. I also picked up Rabbit Hole by Kate Brody from the library, which I started this and I want to get back to it. But I also picked up Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. And this is my current read, y'all. And I think I'm going to stick with it. I'm a mood reader and it's so good so far. So I do have Grown um, from the library. And then I also have it on my Kindle and my iPad. So yeah, that is what's on my library shelf. Now, my next shelf is books that I have read. I have read all of these books, and I have Where He Can't Find You by Darcy Coates. This was the book club pick from my book club um, two months ago, and it was really, really good. So Where He Can't Find You by Darcy Coates. Of course, I have my favorite trilogy from last year, A Good Girl's Got to Murder. So I have A Good Girl's Got to Murder, As Good as Dead, and Good Girl, Bad Blood love 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 this trilogy if you haven't read it please do i know it's a hit or miss but i loved it i also have the woman in cabin 10 by ruth ware i tried to read this i don't really like it but i don't think i gave it a fair shot so i will try to read it again then i have um an unwanted guest by sherry lapina i have not read this I have The Gift by Frieda McFadden. I did read it. I read this in December. Um, and yeah, it's like a really short novella. So yeah, I read that. Then I have a couple of Riley Sager books. I have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. And also Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Oh yeah, I was like, I have one more. And then I also have Survive the Night by Riley Sager. As you guys can see, I love Riley Sager. Riley Sager is an auto buy author for me, as long as, as well as Lucy Foley, S.A. Cosby now, Tiffany D. Jackson, like those are all auto buy authors for me. And yeah, I'll always buy their books. Then one of my old favorite authors, Kristen or Kirsten Moglin. This is Widow Falls. I love her real bad. I actually met her and this is a signed copy and I just love it so much because she said, Danny, don't trust anyone at Widow Falls. This is Widow Falls by Kirsten Moglin. This book was so good and she signed it. And then I also just have a bookmark for when um, I met her. My boyfriend took me to meet her for my birthday last year, I want to say. Um, and yeah, that was awesome. Also, of course, of course, of course, I have The Way to Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. Loved it. This is the first book and only book that I have annotated thus far. And I'm just, I love it. 
So I also have some old books, y'all. I love Sue Grafton. I don't know about y'all, but I love Sue Grafton. Sue Grafton. She's definitely that girl. And um, I have A is for Alibi. B is for Burglar. And C is for Quartz. D is for Deadbeat. So yeah, if you don't know anything about Sue Grafton, she wrote a whole book about uh, my, for the alphabet, like A is for Alibi, B is for Burglar. Um, she wrote almost every book for the alphabet. I think she stopped at like W maybe because she passed away. But yeah, these are old books. Like I said, every book's not going to be a brand new book, but these are older books. I think they are from like freaking the 90s or something. Um, Yeah. I won't talk too much on these because they, 2000, 1982, and I won't talk too much about these because of the publisher, but yeah. Then over here, I have Fallen by TJ Newman, and this shelf is kind of like hardback books that I have. So yeah, Fallen by TJ Newman, I have not read that one yet. Um, I just have the book cover for Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. My boyfriend is actually reading this right now, and he's getting to the good part, so that's um that's why I have the book sleeve here because he was taking it to work and messing up my sleeve. Even though it's a book in a month book and I don't really care for that, I still didn't want the sleeve messed up. Then I just have a Stephen King book just after sunset. Um, I have not read this. I have yet to jump into the Stephen King world, but I do have just after sunset. I love Lisa Gardner and I think I told y'all that before, but I have The Neighbor by Lisa Gardner. The Quiet Tenant by Clemless Michelon. This was my book club pick a couple months ago. And y'all love this book. I think I gave it four stars. I didn't I didn't expect it to be that good just from the cover. The cover is not giving anything, but it actually gave everything. Like the book was fire. So definitely love that. Then of course I have my Bible on my shelf. This is the um NIV Journal of the World Bible. So yeah, I keep this on my shelves. Of course, it's a book. Then I got these little stands from Dollar Tree. And as you guys can see, I just have some books displayed. So this is You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Barron. This is a really short book. It's like not even, it's just over 200 pages. And I really enjoyed this book. It was so good. Then on the shelf right here, I have a candle that says Smells Like a Bookstore. My boyfriend got this for me for Christmas. And I love it so much. It literally smells like a bookstore, like paper. Oh my gosh, like this when you're reading, please. Um, and then this shelf right here is just like some mixed books that I don't even really know what they are. This is The Devil's Banker by Christopher Reach. I probably am going to give this away as well as Plum Island by Nelson DeMille. I don't have the covers because I think I got these out of two little libraries um so yeah i think i'm gonna end up giving these away so i'll actually set these over here because i'm just not interested in them then um shout out to coffee and goodreads she actually sent me these sarah j mass books because i wanted to get into um fantasy this is not the complete set but she had these she sent me queen of shadows throne of glass and crown of midnight um i don't know the order these are supposed to be in y'all know i'm not a fantasy girl but I do plan one day to give it a try. And she sent me these down for skin condition. So she sent me Throne of Glass. She sent me Crown of Midnight. And Queen of Shadows. Like, this is a thick girl. Like, this is thick. So, yeah, I guess this is the whole trilogy back here. It's a lot of books. And, yeah, I'll, I'll try it one day. I also have Lisa Jewel. None of this is true. I read this. I talked about this like last week and it was pretty good. I think I gave it three or four stars. I enjoyed it. Then my last shelf just houses my arcs. So I have received three arcs so far. The first arc that I got was Missing White Woman by Kelly Garrett. Then I have Listen for the Lie by Amy Tentera. I buddy read this with my girl Kim just this month, and it was really good. And then the latest arc I got is Granite Harbor by Peter Nicholas. I have yet to read this, but I am excited. Then the last two things I have on my shelf, I have this cute little gummy teddy bear that I got from Dollar Tree. And this just houses like bookmarks and stuff. So I just have uh, various bookmarks and like paper clips and stuff in here. 
And then last but not least, I just have another one of these little stands and my iPad is on it. And um, the last book I read on here was Race Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby. So yeah, I go back and forth. If I have the physical book, I might also put it on my iPad as well as my Kindle, just depending on where I'm reading. If I can't read a book, then I'll grab either my iPad or my Kindle, depending on which one's charged. So whatever I'm reading, I kind of put it on all three of my platforms. So I'll put it, I'll have the physical book, I'll put it on my iPad and my Kindle. So, with that being said, y'all, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, seeing what I got on my shelves. Y'all let me know some books that y'all have on your shelves, some books that I have that you guys enjoyed. Um, I plan on really, like, taking my time when I buy books. When I walk and see my books, I want to be surrounded by, like, five-star reads and reads that make me feel something. So, that is why you won't see, like, a whole bunch of, like, random book hauls because I want to love the books that I'm buying and I want them to make me feel something. I don't want to just have a whole bunch of books to have them. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.